Hey everybody, welcome back to the Dirty Pat Walsh channel here on YouTube with me, your host, Dirty Pat Walsh. Uh, the dude, or not the dude, um, uh, the, the hermit, um, out in, out in England, um, uh, he made a comment on a, a jaw harp video I made, so I haven't, I haven't done any jaw harping videos in a while, and, uh, I have a whole playlist of them, I don't know. They're kind of. I'm not the best jaw harp player, but I've I've been I've been learning uh, now for. Uh, well, it was a year ago Christmas, I think. Like around that time, maybe January, a year ago January. Year and a half. I've been playing a year and a half. I don't know. Um, but yeah, jaw harps are wicked. Um, uh, the hermit was asking if you can like breathe, breathe through them or like voice words through them. Like, I'm just trying to say, how are you doing today? <laughs> you, you know, any, any kind, that's the, that's one of the ways that you, make make different tones in this like this is a, such a simple instrument it's uh it's just a you know a bent piece of metal and a reed you know um sometimes these are tuned sometimes they're not this one's tuned to the key of e uh it's made in this one was made in russia uh, by a man named uh pavel potkin i believe um I have this one. This one came... Now, this one is from Pavel Potkin's father, Vladimir Potkin, I believe. Um, and it's also from Russia. It came in this cool, like, wizard case, wizard face case. <laughs> and you think, a jaw harp case, how does that work? You know, but it's it's like that. Like, it's just, it's like this rope, you know? Some people hang these around their necks and stuff if they get, like, a long enough cord and... But you just uh kind of pull it out like that. And uh it's got a hole for the for the reed, you know. It's cool cool design. I was very impressed. This one's in the key of F. I really I really enjoy this one. looking pretty crummy i gotta clean these and uh the the way you maintain uh jaw harps is just you just keep them clean I'm, i've been bad these are all i drink a lot of coca-cola these are all kind of gummy from coke drinking coke um but they still work uh but yeah you basically just keep them clean and then you get like a little jar like Coconut oil works really well. Some people use olive oil. Um, just some, you know, coconut oil is good because it's, it's kind of solid at room temperature. Um, and, and you just kind of, uh, make sure it's oiled. You know, you oil the reed and that keeps it from getting rusty and stuff like that. Um, this one, he, uh, he mentioned it sounded like some sort of, Voke, voke, like Peter Frampton type thing. I don't know. This is in the low. This is in low D, or what they call D two. You know, I'm trying to say, hey, hermit, how's it going? <laughs> Oh, yeah. 
You can put vocals, vocals for these and stuff. I love this one. It's so cool. Now, the thing about jaw harps is um, don't be fooled. Uh, there's, there's, there's a, there's an object on the market. It's a, it's a, it's a jaw harp like object um, called the Snoopy harp or. Like, I'm in America, I think they have a place called Hobby Lobby, and it's like the Hobby Lobby harp. Basically, it's this. <clears throat> now, may look the same, sort of. Um, you know, these are the harps that cost, like, $5, okay? Um, and they have this insanely thick reed, um that serves no benefit, the, 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 it's just, it's, I don't know, like, it's just bad, it's poorly made, you know, like, it's, anyway, this is what it sounds like, <laughs> you know, like, there's nothing to it, like, Like, like if I was doing, if I was breathing like that through this, you know, try to do that on this. It's like, it's like, like you can barely hear anything. You can hear it in your brain, like, in your bones and, you know, in your skull, but, uh, it's, it's not good, and these are, these are, like, just the way they're made, like, they're just, they're tooth breakers, so many, there's so many people with a chip front tooth from one of these things, you know, um, I, I keep this, my, my dear friend Ross, uh, Ross Gartain gave this to me, so I, I keep it because it's very special to me because Ross gave it to me, but, I never play it. <laughs> um, sorry, Ross. Um, there's also this kind of jar. Now, this one's been modified and tweaked a bit by my friend Sam, but um, you can often find these in music stores, and they're, these are made in Austria. You know, they're not bad. They, they they sound pretty good, but they're still not. You know, for jaw harp, you want to, you want, like, you know, and here, now for another example, here's an Indian jaw harp. Uh, this is called a Morchang, and uh, it's mainly meant for percussive rhythm work. It's got a also very stiff reed, but it's, this isn't, it's not the same as the, the Snoopy harp. This one is actually the one that works most like a harmonica. Um, it's got a draw. It's got a draw. Like you can draw start it. Like you know, you, or you can just do it like. You know, like you can't you can't do that on on these potkins. 
you know, I don't know. It's just the way they're made. This, like, this one's from India. This one's from Germany. This is called a, a Mautrommel uh, from Germany. It's made by the uh, Schuttler Company, I believe. Um, I got to oil and clean all these. I'm embarrassed. Um, yeah, these two are Russian, made, made by the Potkin family. Um, this one's an Austrian one. Uh, these ones are usually like 15, 20 bucks. Um, now to get a good one, like these Potkins, I think they cost me about 60 bucks a piece. Um, and Sam gave, gave me these two along with the Austrian one in part of a musical trade we did. And, uh, now I know that this one costs a couple hundred bucks. Uh, and this one, I, I don't know how much, but I'm sure it's also quite expensive. So hand forged in the sands of India. Um, yeah. So draw harps are amazing, amazing instrument. <laughs> If I had four to five dollars, all in gold, all in gold, I'd be rich like old man Carter. Woo hee, oldie ho. That old hammer killed John Henry, killed him dead, killed him dead. I knocked the brains out of my partner on his head, on his head. If I had four to five dollars, all in gold, all in gold, I'd be rich like old man Carter. Woo hee, oldie ho. <laughs> My fingers, I just, like, a lot of jaw harping is getting the making your finger trigger regularly, you know, getting a good rhythm. I'm, I'm just not, it's all practice, right? Um, I'm, I'm way better player than I was when I first started. So, um, yeah, draw harp, draw harps are awesome. I always say if you can't play one note with soul, then don't bother trying to play 10, you know? Um, and these are just one note, <laughs> you know? They're very cool. Anyhow, yeah, I hope that answered your questions, uh, Hermit. And uh, thanks for watching my extremely long video about jaw harps. But uh, I hope you're all doing good and well. Uh, thanks for watching my videos yesterday. Thanks for all your nice comments. Um, and, uh, yeah, be well. Stay free. God bless. I'll talk to you all later. Bye now.